What is going on YouTube, Foxy Girl, welcome to you guys today with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the new SMG, the Damon 3XB, I hope you guys do enjoy, if you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's go bros, oh look, we can use the specialist now, fuck yeah! Alrighty, I should probably show you guys the iron sights first, but whatever. Normally, I don't play on Icebreaker, but we haven't played on Icebreaker in so long that I said fuck it and figured we would. Oh my lord. Alright, so I put rapid fire on this just to see what it was like. And apparently this SMG isn't, like, as good as the other SMGs in the game. That's what someone said in my comments yesterday, but... Holy shit, that, that's, like, almost fully automatic. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not insane either. Which I mean, like, that's good, but like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. All right, let, let me just use it more. Now the new specialist is like a hacker, and she also has an EMP grenade. Oh, okay. Nonstop was on my account earlier, and he was trying to get a game. Uh, he was trying to get footage for his channel as well so thanks to non-stop for getting some attachments for me i appreciate that there buddy normally you want to use the emp grenade when they have streaks out or if they have um or if the enemy team has like their specialist out for example um if torque has out his barrier his like his barricade or whatever you know do you want to throw the emp out because then it disables it same with like sentry guns and mantis and things like that so none of that is out right now here bros but Holy shit, dude. No! No! It, this gun has the potential to be really good. So, we're gonna keep using this. Double kill. Dude! Hold up! Wait a minute! That's essentially an automatic gun. You just gotta control the recoil a little bit. Alright, so... Okay, well... Throw that right there, see if that works. Yes, it does! Look at that shit, dude! Dude, holy shit, man. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. All right, we're gonna hack everything? Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so you... Oh, so I have to be near it? Okay, hold on. So... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, look. Dude, that's so awesome! Dude, that's so dope! Dude, that's... I mean, like, it's, it's gone now, but, like, you know, that's super dope. I kind of wasted that, but whatever. That's so cool. Also, for those of you who did not watch my SWAT video yesterday, make sure you guys go watch the video on the SWAT, because I also explained how, with Dark Matter, you actually get Dark Matter camo before you get gold camo, for the DLC weapons, at least, and that's something new-ish. You were able to do that in Modern Warfare Remastered with Exclusion Zone, but it's never been like that in, like, any of the other games, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of weird how Modern Warfare Remastered kind of did that, but no one else did. I don't know. I don't know if that was a glitch and they just said, fuck it, we're not fixing it, or, like, what, but... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, this gun is fast as hell. At least when, like, you got rapid fire on it. Like, the maximum fire rate is just insane. So, apparently, this is the Cherry Blossom camo from Black Ops 2. Cherry Blossom from BO2 on the SWAT from BO2. And the price of the camo is $3 from BO2. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy, man. That, that's some crazy shit. That is pretty crazy, though, now that I think about it. Holy shit, that, that was pretty fast ADS. I wanted to show you guys the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Holy fucking, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. I wanted to show you guys the iron sights and stuff for this guy. Holy hell. <laughs> He's like, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Killing spree. Dude, this guy, this guy. Yep. Spawn slip. What are they mad about? They mad about that I flipped the spawns? Nope. Dude, what the fuck? So fucking irritating, man. Oh, that's she has. Fuck, man. Get off me. Nope. Sadi Mall. Nope. Sorry, homeboys. Oh my god, dude. 
fuck? Literally, my drone squad got destroyed because of the fucking hacking thing. Holy shit, dude. This thing actually, like, fucks everyone up. Nope. Nope. No! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So like this gun, like if I was you guys, I would put rapid fire on it because like rapid fire, like you can either choose high caliber or you can do rapid fire, but I really like rapid fire. Like rapid fire is killing it for me right now. Come here. Okay, the dog just ran right past him, whatever. No, you guys, dude, I think there's more than one guy trying to knife on their team. No! Bitch, dude. Did they fix the knifing on this game? <laughs> it's like, I'm seeing these people in Carnage getting the, uh, the gemmed out, uh, or whatever it's called. Like, yeah, the gemmed out Dark Ops challenge or the Dark Ops calling card. And what you have to do for the gemmed out calling card, basically what you have to do for the gemmed out Dark Ops challenge is you have to get a nuclear with every single primary weapon and you have to have Dark Matter camo on it. So basically, just get a nuclear with Dark Matter equipped. That's what you gotta do. And you gotta do it for every primary weapon, which means you have to use guns like the smd or the sdm or whatever like it's like you just gotta use like terrible ass guns like i don't know how hero and qz have done it dude <laughs> like it's fucking wild i could never ever do that i can't even get a nuclear with a fucking icr let alone <laughs> like the fucking sdm dude i don't know how they're doing it but they're 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 freaks they're they're insane so you know props to them Oh my goodness, dude. This gun, this gun with rapid fire is nice. I saw someone comment earlier about why would they implement a three round burst SMG when there's guns like the Spitfire and the MX9 and um, the uh, and the Saggy, you know, but this is why, because this rapid fire attachment is insane. Nutty, bro. Holy shit, dude. Wow, this thing fucking melts. A lot of people were comparing this gun to the Pharaoh, and like, I didn't really play Black Ops 3, so I can't really say like what I think this gun feels like. I just like, I don't know, it just feels like a new gun to me, to be honest. I really wish that these guns had operator mods on them, though. I feel like that would make the DLC guns be that much better. I feel like every DLC gun, and honestly, every gun in general in this game should have an operator mod. I used to feel different about that because I always felt like some guns having operator mods and some guns not having operator mods made... I don't know. It just made the guns in the game feel a little bit more unique because there would be some guns that did have operator mods and then some that didn't. So, like, it would make certain guns a little bit more unique than one another. But in all honesty, I think if each gun had its own operator mod that'd be really fucking cool and especially the dlc guns like i feel like as an homage to the original uh, like swat assault rifle from black ops 2 they definitely should have gave the swat in this game an operator mod and had it be like a three round burst or something like that i feel like that would have been really fucking cool i love how they, they just made a dude it's just so cool they literally made a new specialist with something completely new basically Bruh. Hopefully we can get max dark matter. That would be nice. I kind of need like 12 more kills. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing about the hacking, I can't regen my health when I'm getting hacked. I think that's kind of fucked. Don't you think? Oh my god. Oh my sweet lord, holy shit talkie. Shit tacky. Here, here's a quick montage of me getting dark ma max dark matter. I don't care if I die in between. Here's a montage of it. Actually, guys, let me know down in the comments which camo or which reactive camo or whatever you guys want me to do for the next video because, like, there's a ton of them. So I really want to uh, do one. I'm probably going to lean towards the KN57, but I want to know what you guys want me to do next. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy this montage of max dark matter on the daemon. Goodbye.